off-road riding can be extremely exciting and fun. <laughs> yes! Yes! But it could also be extremely challenging and even a little bit dangerous. I'm good. So I wanted to give five tips for new off-road riders to keep in mind when they're going out there on their first adventures. Number one, you're gonna fall and you're gonna fall multiple times. Your bike might be looking shiny and new now, but it's definitely gonna pick up some scruffs, some dents, parts are gonna break off of it, but that's just all part of the adventure. I did make it up here, but then I broke my chain guard. You're just gonna have to accept the fact that your bike's not always gonna be in this pristine condition. It'll get scratched up by tree limbs and branches and obstacles that you're going over, but that's all okay. And you're gonna pick up some bumps and scrapes and bruises along the way too, so definitely invest in the gear you deem appropriate. Um, helmets, goggles, gloves, knee pads, motocross boots. Um, you're gonna take some bumps and you're gonna feel it the next day, so having the right gear is definitely gonna mitigate some of the injuries that you'll sustain. Number two, always bring water. Whether it's water bottles or a hydration backpack, um, you'd be surprised at how uh, taxing off-road riding can be on your body. The first couple times you go out, you might be sweating and out of breath in the first couple minutes of your ride. Um, your muscles get sore, you get arm pump. It'll get better over time as your body adjusts to your new hobby, but um, you'll thank yourself later if you have enough water to pull over on the trail and rehydrate. So always travel with water. Number three, bring a set of common tools with you on the ride. Um, like I said, you are gonna fall and things are gonna break off your motorcycle. Um, nothing scarier than being alone by yourself out in the trail with no tools and your motorcycle's not running. So travel with a common set of tools, metric wrenches, Allen keys. Um, a lot of things you can take off this bike with an eight, 10 or 12 millimeter wrench. I made a separate video with tools that I bring with me when I'm on a solo ride. So I'll link to that at the end of this video. Um, feel free to watch that and make sure you have those tools with you as you go out. Um, that way you're not stranded alone on a trail. Number four, standing up helps. I know the very first few times that you're standing up on your motorcycle, it could be a little bit nerve wracking. Uh, you might not be used to it, but um, practice that in easy terrain. Um, practice it in the backyard, you know, standing up on your motorcycle. Um, once you get proficient at it, you're gonna have a lot more control of your motorcycle when you're in the standing position um, and your body will be able to absorb more, more of those uh, bumps and rough terrain that you're traveling over. When you're first getting into it, you don't have to stand over every tough obstacle, but definitely put some time into learning how to uh, maneuver the motorcycle while you're standing up. It'll pay off huge in the long run. Dude, this is awesome. Number five, find some people to ride with. There's no shortage of social media platforms and online communities full of dual sport riders. Um, meet up with some of them, plan a ride. Uh, the cool thing is you'll find new trails and meet new friends. What's up, buddy? How's it going? Good. Yeah, that's my first time here. You wanna ride with us? Yeah, all right. Okay, right on. All the people I've met in the community have been so kind and helpful to me. Um, I've found some great places to ride because of them, and I couldn't be more thankful. The other thing is, if you travel in a group and you ever get stuck or can't get over an obstacle, I'm down. You got your new friends there to help pull you out. Ready? You'll make some lifelong memories with these people, so it's totally worth it. Just get out there and network and have fun with other people. So hopefully that helps you as you're starting your off-road adventures. Um, if you're interested in this type of content or the KLX 300 or dual sport motorcycles, please like, comment, subscribe. Feel free to make fun of me in the comment section and I'll catch you on the next one.